Hi guys, I'm Johnny. Welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Johnny. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy beef tool. It is so delicious, very simple, and I think you're going to love it. So let's get started. You will need chalk cut into two inch pieces. I'm using chalk because I really like how it turns out in the in this tool that's monthly common. But you can use any type of meat, any round tip or sirloin that you like, or even stew meat. But I'd rather chalk. I'm using tomato paste, flour, salt, pepper, dry thyme, paprika, ground oregano, beef stock, oil, onion, garlic, carrots, and potatoes. You also can add celery, but unfortunately I ran out of it when I was preparing my stuff to make this video, but I still want to make it because it's going to taste good anyway. So yeah. So I want to start off by seasoning my beef. Make sure you season it well with salt and pepper. And we're going to sear it. We're going to brown this. What's going on? <laughs> the lid is not on. Season it well with salt and pepper. Give it a nice toss. So what I have here is a Dutch oven with some vegetable oils that I added there and I'm not going to sear my meat until it's nice and brown. You're going to do it on high, on high heat because you just want to give it a nice color. Try to separate it because you don't want it to steam. My meat has developed some beautiful color and I'm just going to take it out. I'm going to put it in the same pan that I washed, the same container. You just want it to give a nice color and those flavors that are trapped there in the bottom of the pan, those are, those like, are like gold. You don't want to get rid of it. So, just going to take it out. And in this pan, I have some oil there. If I if I didn't have oil, I would have add some oil and salt in my veggies. But I still have some oil there, and I'm going to add my onion, my carrot, and my and my garlic. Also, at this time, you can add the celery if you have it. I'm going to heat it up with some with some salt to help the sweat and for flavor of course. Let us go for about I don't know until they start to soften up. My veggies seem to be soft now. I'm going to add my flour. And I'm going to stir it there. Cook it for about maybe a minute. After you cook your flour, go ahead and add your tomato paste. Give it a nice stir there. Now deglaze with your beef broth. Try to dissolve the 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 tomato paste but it doesn't matter if it doesn't dissolve now add your ground oregano paprika thyme if you have bay leaf add one small bay leaf there and if you have some sprig of rosemary add them in there too now i'm going to add my potatoes and my beef you're going to bring this mixture to a boil And then you're going to cover for, for two and a half hours until the meat is nice and tender. My stew cook for two and a half hours and my meat is nice and tender. And the juices are thick but not so thick. It is the, consist the consistency I like. I'm going to add some, some green peas because I, I feel like it needed some color. And this is how it looks. The meat has some beautiful color 
for when we sear it. Now check for seasoning and see and if you and if the stew needs salt and pepper just add them to your taste and this will be so good. I didn't add celery, thyme or rose, uh, bay leaf or rosemary and my stew even stay, tasted delicious. So we can conclude that beef stew you can add anything you like and it will be so good. You can customize it, customize it to your own flavors. So this was so yummy and I really enjoyed it and my family really enjoyed it too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my recipe for beef too. It was so good and even though it has potatoes and that's actually you eat it with potato, but if you want you can also eat it with rice because you know, here in my house we eat rice almost every day and it will be so perfect with white rice too. So, I hope you give this recipe a try. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my recipes and I see you soon. Bye bye.